What's up, Duelist? MD here, and today I am with my good friend here, Justin. What's up? And we are over here at Frankie Sports Cards Memorabilia, and the link to their eBay store will be down in the description down below. And big thank you to them quickly for allowing me to film here today. And with that, we've got something really awesome to show you guys today, so what do you got for us, man? Uh, a Zodiac deck profile. Yeah, the new one that just came up with the Raging Tempest set, and it's broken. I faced it myself, and I just cry. <laughs> That's all I can do is just cry. So, why don't you show them why I cry over this? All right. So, the deck plays three Terra Top, one Talking to Board. Uh, it's standard for your invoke invoker plays. Um, I personally hate it because I always draw that. So, can't wait for this card to get hit to one. That'll be. The greatest day ever. Um, so it plays three rat. Um, when he's normal summon, you send a zodiac card from deck to graveyard, and then it gives your zodiac monsters material. Like it'll give him the effects when he's a material to detach and special another rat peer out. Uh, so he's the part of the main combo. Uh, three whip tail, the second best zodiac. Uh, she works as a DD warrior lady um, for the Exceed, so it's pretty good when you have like a 25 attack monster swinging over like Abysmagear or anything like that or any like big combo cards and then you banish it. Um, if you can somehow make your opponent stop and leave a rat peer on the board uh, and you swing with Whiptail, you kind of just win the game because they can't combo anymore because you need all three. Uh, the next one is two Thoroughblade. Uh, he's all right. He's really only there for the looting effect. So that's pretty much like the piercing sometimes comes up, but not yeah, piercing is never bad in my opinion. Yeah, um, two Ghost Ogre. It's a staple in like most decks now because of the zoo. Yeah, uh, honestly, I'm I'm debating putting some of those in my decks now too. Yeah, um, if you use her right, you can make them stop the combo. Otherwise. They're just going to keep going. So you have to hit the Tiger Mortar when she's attaching. So that's when you use her. Uh, double Maxi, because it's literally a special summon format. It's the best card in the format right now. Um, and then four Kaijus. You want to play the two 33 Beat Sticks just to have them. Because um, they're part of your OTK combo. Um, and then the Gamma so because it's a low attack. And this one doesn't really matter. Uh, it's for monsters for spells. Three one hundred dollar cards. Uh, He's not kidding, guys. So what this card does is you can target any card you can one face of card you control, uh, and you destroy it. So they can destroy itself. It's not limited to that. Um, and special a Zodiac from your deck. And then if you have an Exceed material or an Exceed out, it attaches itself as a material. Uh, three tanky because they're all beast warriors and searching things is good. Um, three interrupted Kaiju slumber. It's your board wipe of the deck. And it also lets you search out the... Uh, the kaijus to get over like the board like say they have a dryden on their field and you need to get over it you just search yeah guys i can't tell you how many times i had a game winning field yeah someone just played that card and i just lost everything yep yeah. uh two twin twister because decades back row and also if you set this and your opponent sets like two and you use it and it's a d berry you just kind of won because they can't d berry you now um, one instant fusion to because Norton's broken in this deck. Because if they interrupt your combo, uh, you just Norton back the rat here and then you just continue your combo. So, 
so. So if Norton gets hit with the list, would you consider playing that, that new Theseus card in there instead of it? No, there's better cards to play at that point. Uh, there's actually going to be... Uh, this deck's actually going to change a lot with the Fusion Enforcer set. Uh, yeah, that's going to be a pretty decent one. Yeah. Um, for traps, 3D Barrier, it's the, it's the card of the format. It stops your opponent from doing... Just about everything. Just about everything, yeah. Uh, two strike, one warning. Uh, I kind of wanted it to be the third strike, but at the same time, you can warning slumber, so... It, it, it happened in test play. Yeah, not That's, to mention fusions are getting support, and you can't strike a poly, but warning works. For those you didn't know. Uh, torrential, because if they board clear and then do their combo, uh, at the end of their combo, I just torrential them, and they just lost a lot of uh, a lot of card advantage. So, and then the last card is a Zodiac combo. Um, it helps you recycle your plays, and the first effect uh, comes up where you can attach it, where you attach a material from your deck. So that's come up a lot when they like swing at my Dryden. After uh, I used up the material, I can activate it, put a whip tail under it, and then your ma your monster gets banished. So Very that's it for the main indeed. deck. Oh, uh, extra deck. Play the Norden for the instant fusion. I play two targets for the terror top. It's Invoker and Totem Bird. If you don't open up the the rep here or a way to get rep here. Uh, but you should always have a way to get to Rat Pier because uh, there's like nine ways to get to it, yes. including itself. You go for this. If you open it, you go Totem Bird. That way you don't lose to Board Wipe. Um, for the Zoo, play two Dryden, two Broad Bowl, two Mortar, and one Board Bowl. Um, this is your pot. This is the one that destroys face-up cards. This is the one that searches your beast warriors. This is the one that enables you to keep going with your combo. And he's another name. I have gamed someone on his effect to let you attack directly before. So if that comes up, it's like a cute way to win. But uh, yeah, so that's pretty much that until next set. Um. Play two Emerald because recycling your combo pieces are it's extremely important in the deck. If you don't recycle your combo pieces, you literally just burn out and lose. Absolutely, I agree. Uh, I'm not, and then for rank fours, other than like the staple, um, playing the Gaga Samurai for OTK. He's actually technically a staple. And then it, some people are playing the Lightning combo. Instead, I'm playing Castell Diamond Dire because I felt like the lightning combo was only really good if you're playing against Cosmo and it's really it. Whereas this, you can, if you have like, are somehow left with dead Beast Warrior monsters, you pretty much like can just go Diamond Dire, pop it, and you still have the 2k beat stick, and then Castell is just a staple ring. Right, and I actually like that because while the, the lightning combo is nice, it's so easily stopped. And that's like a lot of resources you should put there for nothing. Mm -hmm. um, side deck, I'm doing the artifact side deck, so two Lancia, two side, one Moral Talk. It's for going first. Um, there's also three Sanctums in there as well, because uh, that's how you put it. Um, this is for the Infernoid matchup, because it's actually a really annoying matchup that they play the Lawn Mowing variant. Um, the Scythe is for the Mirror matches, and then Morthok's just a generic, like, really good. So you pretty much, depending on what you play against, you can side out the Kaiju, because it's only, Kaijus are really good going second. You would side those out, put the Sanctums, like you're going against Infernoid, just go that, and then like an extra card if you need it. So... 
the artifacts, um, extra board wipe, because it's really good if you go against rogue, like heroes. Uh, third twin twister for metal bow and big back row decks. Um, double chalice for the mirror match because stopping their Dryden from popping your combo stuff is pretty good. And then three chain disappearance for the mirror. Uh, if you hit the rat with this, not only does their turn end, but they just lose. So, and it's actually gonna be a really good side card coming up in the next format when uh, Invoked is out, because this can also hit the Alistair, and if they can't fusion summon, then that deck kind of loses too. Ooh. So yeah, guys, I would say definitely pick up that card now as soon as you can. Yeah, and that's it. All right, guys, so there you guys have it, the Zodiac deck profile. And big thank you again, Justin, for profiling this for us today. No problem. And once again, thank you to Frankie Sports Cards memorabilia for allowing me to film here today. So, once again, the link to their YouTube, not YouTube, wow, their eBay will be in the link down below. So, be sure to go check them out. They got some really good stuff for really low prices. And anything else you want to add? Nope, that's it. All right, guys, so hopefully you all enjoyed this profile. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. This has been Magician's Descendants, and I'll catch you duelists later.